negative 3 is positive 6. And notice we get 12 equals 12. The left side equals the right side. Let's put a check next to that and move to the next one. Now in this one, again, we're testing 2 and negative 3. So in for this equation, we're going to put 2 in for x. And for y, I'm just going to make that negative 3 equals negative 1. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And the right side is already negative 1. So let's put a check because the left side equals the right side. Let's compare both of them. This one checked out. This one checked out. Okay? The numbers from this equation and this equation don't have to be the same as each other. You're only comparing them independently. This side equals this side for the top equation. This side equals this side for the bottom equation. And that tells us that the point that we tested, 2, negative 3, is the correct solution to the problem. That is the point of intersection. Okay, now in the beginning of the video, uh, I said that not only were we going to try to solve the problem by looking for the solution, if there was one, which there is, okay, we wanted to say, what kind of system is this? Well, we would say that this is a consistent system and also independent equations. And that's pretty much how you do that problem. So I'm going to end the video there, and uh, I will be going over some more examples on the other platforms. But anyway, I hope you found this video and demonstration helpful. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Please share with your friends. Please leave feedback in the comment section. And especially, please subscribe to the channel so that, I can, uh, so that you can be aware of new videos that come out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.